Hey guys, so in this episode we are going to detail the shirt. So let's just hide everything else. Hide this and this. There we go. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is I want to detail the I had this band here. And now watch what happens when I press three. Because there's more space here than here, uh this vertex actually moves. You see that and gets closer, but this one stays the same. So we actually change the shape of this band. So I want to make sure that the band doesn't change when we subdivide. Because if I subdivide this, see that line is now curved. We don't want this uh, curve. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to show you what you can do. I'm going to double click this uh, edge loop, control right click, go to faces, faces, and then we're going to extract like that and then just press uh, F8 which will take you into object mode and then control uh, shift shift alt D which will clear history so now this is separate so now if I select both of them and press 3 you can see the line doesn't move because they're separate objects so now what I can do is I can uh, do a poly smooth on both of them and now this line doesn't have that curve on it it's nice and smooth and then the next thing I'm going to do, while I have this separated, this is a good time to do an extrude. And we'll do, we can do a th thickness. Sometimes thickness breaks. You see that happens? So if that happens, just grab the blue arrow and drag it. You can turn on wireframe unshaded so you can see better. I'm going to push it up like that. Then I'm going to hold control and middle mouse drag the offset number. And this will let us just offset this a little bit like that. Maybe bring this down a little bit. Yep, that's good. Go to object mode. So if I press 3, you can see what it does. So I'm going to actually undo a little, uh, a little further back. I'm going to click on face. So while I still have the selection, I'm going to then do. Uh, if you don't, if you're not sure that you have it, just right click and click face and make sure that you have the selection still selected. You can then do shift greater than, which will grow our selection to grab these extra edges on the sides. I'm going to right click and go to invert selection and then hit delete. This will delete the interior faces and only leave us the outside shell. If we turn wireframe off, you can see what we have. And we can combine these. There's no reason to keep them separated. So I'm going to click combine and then just hit merge. If I click soften edge and then clear history, you can see we just added that band. It looks great. Now, also, I'm going to take these faces here and turn on soft select. Press B. And then after it's on, you can hold B and the middle mouse button drag. Oops, go into the move tool middle mouse drag and you can change the fall off amount so I'm going to take this and just kind of tuck it in underneath like that See that looks looks pretty good. All right. So now let's do the uh, these ripped edges here. So I'm gonna use the uh, multi cut tool and pick a pick one that I want to start with. And I'm just gonna do this all the way around. right click and then just select these faces now a faster way to do this is to select just the edges like this hold control right click to face to face and hit delete there we go so now I actually want to delete 
these as well. And just hit delete. So we'll have something like that. But I also want to add a bevel. So, and I also want to make this into a better quad. So I'm just going to spread this out a little bit. I'm holding C while dragging. Like that. So the way you do this is you hold C and middle mouse click on an edge and drag. See, and it'll stick. Okay, so now we're gonna add uh, some edge loops. So I'm gonna use the insert edge loop tool. Turn off autocomplete, set it to equal distance. And we can then do this. Hit enter. And then we just keep going around. Now, when we do this, you can see it's going to add a nice bevel at the end there. We'll still have to fix this, but it's going to be easy. And the reason we want a bevel here is because we're going to add thickness, so we want to make sure that we have a nice bevel so it doesn't collapse on itself. So I'm just going to pause while I finish. And here's the last one. Okay. So when I press 3, you can see it still uh, is not all quads. And also, it doesn't actually make great geo here. So let's finish this up quick. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to go from this point here, there. And then this one, I'm going to put it into here, like that. And then that in there. So again, from here to here. Hmm, okay, that's not actually going to work. <laughs> Let's think about this a little bit better. Because if we leave it like this, we'll have a pentagon here. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna use a different tool here. I'm gonna click this button here, which will turn on the um, modeling toolkit. I'm going to use target weld. I'm gonna take here and you just click and drag. So I'm left clicking, dragging, and it basically welds that vertex down to there. And so what this does is it leaves us all quads around here and here. And now to finish this off, I'm going to close the modeling toolkit. I don't need it. And then I'm going to use the multi-cut tool. And then from here, I'm just going to go like that. Use this tool. Right click. And then if we delete these edges will have nice quads there you can see we have a nice loop so I'm gonna keep doing this I'll come back uh, okay everything's cut delete that go to object and there we go all right so I'm pretty happy with that I just cleared history. So the other thing we can do is select 
the faces like this. I'm gonna press soft select a little bit, and then we can just kind of position them out. So I'm rotating and just moving out a little just to point them up. And just make them just less, uh, uh, more random, more organic looking. So uh, one way to that you can rotate is if you keep it perpendicular to the camera and then when you rotate click the outside yellow circle and this will rotate in the direction you're, uh, you like. So basically I want to rotate facing us, you just rotate uh, orbit to the side like this and then use the yellow circle just to rotate out. So I want to mirror this to the other side because I don't want to repeat this. It will take too long. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to select this edge. Uh, now I can't loop it all the way around, but if I use contiguous edges, it'll get me most of the way. And I can select another one, click contiguous edges again, Oops. and get the whole loop. Then we're going to uh, hold control, right click, two faces, two faces, like that. And then I'm going to grow my selection, uh, yeah, no, uh, I'm going to select what's missing, you select that, and then from here, I'm going to hold control shift, and then just uh, add to the selection, let's see, select that. so this is what we have selected now, and what I'm trying to do is to select what is similar on this side so this much is so if I take this now and go to mesh and is duplicate still here yeah click duplicate and clear history and what this does you have this geo and I would just duplicated those faces from before and I'm just going to scale them in the opposite direction so negative one in X and then on this side, I'm going to I'm going to wireframe my shaders so I can see what's going on. And I'm going to go and delete overlapping faces. So then if I double click this, it's still connected somewhere. Ah, there. You can double click that and delete. So I just deleted that shoulder. And to uh, fix this, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna select the outside edge loop, convert to faces, and delete. So the reason I'm doing this is because I know that, uh, see that face there, and this one here uh, will not connect. I don't want to merge these by hand, although you can. But <clears throat> if I delete it like this, I'm gonna I can select both of these, combine, 
and then use the bridge tool. So I'm going to start from here to here. And then, so basically, what I'm doing is I'm clicking this loop, then shift, double clicking this loop, this edge. And then when I click bridge, it will connect. So I can do the same on this side. And then from here, actually, I can select that as well. To there, Let's deselect that, and then we can bridge. You see? So then I'm going to go from here, oops, to here. Okay, so we can just deselect that, and then deselect this for the bridge. And then on this side, double click this edge, deselect this one and this one, and we can bridge as well. There we go. All right, so now we're going to add some of the crease detail. over and I'm just going to draw some uh, curves where uh, in places where I want to add some creases okay Set this back to zero. Clear history again. And save because uh, I've crashed before. So now I'm just going to hide that. And we can see <coughs> we have these curves over our geometry. So we can think about adding some loops uh, to add those creases. So I'm just going to go in and start drawing them. Uh, I'm going to go from there to there. thing we need is we need to make this a crease we need to loop around so that means we need to find a place where we can do that so if we do something like this this would be a good place to loop so that means we have to go from here to and here loop the same way that. to make see the shape there now I actually don't need any of these interior edges so I'm just gonna go through and delete them because we're gonna make our own uh, curvature here but I'm gonna leave the vertices so I'm not actually control deleting So make sure I didn't delete anything else by accident. There. And then without even fixing this, I'm just gonna clean this up. So let's do that. So this one has less edges, but also uh, this has a, a hole. 
we don't have a hole up here we have it it's all the way up there we don't want to have to start looping that way so I'm going to use this as like my garbage area and this is what I'm going to clean up this is what matters the most hmm. okay so if we do this we can get rid of this edge and put this loop up there Like that, like that. we can just put there well oh, so we don't need to do that there. okay and it's going to space this out better So now we're just going to loop this around. So let's see. There. This one will end in this little corner. And then we'll clean it up in a bit. Okay. So now I'm going to select all of these vertices here, and then make sure I deselect any corners that might break, but there aren't any. So I'll just click delete. So if we soften this and just preview, it looks pretty messy, but we have nice loops. So now we can actually add a loop like this. I'm going to select. Uh, relative or complete off double click select double click then we can add that would be the initial crease and then we'll need some extra oops something like this and then we can delete that and then space this out a little bit so it can diffuse uh, you can also just do this need to double click this loop select that and then you can use comp uh, transform component and push it in a little like this and then a little like that 
We can also scale it. So I'm going to press R, move my pivot here. I'm going to scale it in also. Let's just move it in a little more. And then just bring that back a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same to this. So we need to clean this up. So one way we can do that is to loop these around or let's count what we have here. One, two, and three. So that's easy to get rid of. Okay. So this is the way we're gonna do this. So to clean this, I'm gonna go from here. And I'm gonna go one, two. And then over, and then we're gonna go here. Oh, okay, wrong way, wrong direction. Like this, one, two, here, and then over, like that. And then we're gonna go from here to here, like that. So now we can delete. I did have it the right way. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yes, yeah, so we go from here to here to here to here. Then from here to here. And then if I delete these two, I can then double click that. Oh, oops. Control delete. Control delete. There. See, now it's quads. We still have this triangle here, so let's get rid of it. I'm gonna go from here to here. And then drop a loop down. Now it's all quads. Soft select and just start kind of working this a little bit. Now, the way uh, this fold works is that this is kind of tucked in on top of this. So basically, this has to come out more. So if I double click this loop, I'm going to just do that and do transform, oops, transform component, push that. Out like that, and in this loop, turn that off. We want, and that's going to be a little difficult to do. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this edge, double click this loop, and delete it, and then I'm going to redraw it. So what that did, it made this nice and flat, and then this does, does not come over it. So you can see what we did here. Let's look at the drawing. Okay. So this is zero. Okay, so now we know what we need to do. I'm gonna select this here. Grow my selection and just move this. I need to select more than that, something like this.
let's make sure that it's set to surface. So I have that selected. Just need to make sure it's not like that. And then this will have to do the same. Okay, so now we're going to clean this up using another tool, and this is the uh, Smooth Poly tool, it's this tool right here, we're going to double click it in here, we'll get this tool here, so I'm going to open display and stroke. So the way this tool works is uh, you get a brush, if you hold B and drag you can change the size of the brush, if you hold M and left mouse drag, you can scale the amount. I'm also going to change the opacity, set it to low. I'm going to set the brush like this. I'm going to hold shift. And I'm going to smooth out some of this detail. Like that. And then I'm going to uh, set it to pull. And without holding shift, I'm just going to kind of paint. Now it works really well with the stylus. So if you have a Wacom tablet, this is really easy. And it will be a lot more natural. I'm holding shift to smooth. Then letting go and then painting again. And if you hold control, it will push. So like if you're using the pull, you hold control, it will push. Shift will smooth. So setting the opacity low may, will make sure that you don't do too much because if you have opacity in one and you do a stroke, you can see it's too much. But if you keep it really low, you can then make minute changes and if you want to just have more of an effect, you just uh, do more strokes. Okay, so I am pretty happy with this. Let's bring back the other stuff. What is this? Oh, we don't need that. So if you want to keep these, you can add them to your reference group that we made in the first video. And you can see what that looks like now. So now we can actually extrude.
So you want to extrude the whole thing. And I'm going to use the uh, blue arrow. We're going to give it a good amount of thickness because we're making kind of a almost like a toy. So good amount of thickness will be good. Turn off. Uh, probably uh, let's turn off soft select. Okay. So now I'm gonna go to object mode. So it's black because we it, uh, inverted when we extruded it. So I'm gonna reverse that. Soften edge. Take a look at what it looks like with thickness. Yeah. Right. That looks pretty good to me. We can actually smooth this out a little bit. So let's bring the tool back. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's it for this episode. In the next one, we'll do the pants, and then we'll move on to detailing hands and feet by adding, uh, uh, actually modeling in the bandages. So uh, subscribe and like. See you guys next time.